Coming. Welcome, Mrs. Bailey and other classes, to our humble abode, the Who Hut. <laughs> you can see it's extremely well camouflaged, but you can identify its location based on this railroad tie and orange marker. After crossing this protective fence, you can see the structure hidden under delicious green leaf. It smells amazing right now. I wish you could smell it. Okay, you can see the structure is based like a beaver hut. It's a pack rat animal that just takes logs and sticks of different sizes and, and throws it together. <laughs> now you might be thinking, how can I get in here? Well, there's actually a set. Follow me, camera guy. We're coming through to the back here to a wonderful entrance. You can see it's all crisscrossed. It cannot possibly come down. You can feel perfectly safe. Look at this lighting feature. Come in here. Come here. Look at this lighting feature. No water is going to come through here. It's going to be perfectly safe. We got four people to lay down under here. All right. This is our humble abode, the Who Hut. And if you want, it's $20 a night. <laughs> Two person, completely exclusive. No one around here can hear you. I don't care what you do in here. Just clean up after yourself. Thank you, guys. <laughs> And here we have the entrance to our shelter. When you walk in, nice big space. We have a little room over there and then a bigger area over here and a nice fire pit for uh, keeping you warm at night. This shelter is good for keeping out bears, black panthers, and uh, it's also certified for wolves, not tigers though. Uh, we have a birdhouse for catching bird eggs to eat and roast over a fire. And then if you go over to this side, we have uh, our log that we use for basket weaving. And uh, very sturdy, tall shelter. We uh, made sure to use lots of bigger logs so it's nice and keeps everything out that we want out and everything in that we need in. Another look here at uh, how much space we have inside our nice great big shelter is Kyle laying on the ground. Okay, here's our shelter. It's long enough so that five people can fit comfortably inside. Both sides there. See if I can get you inside here. Here's the door. Nice wide door, so even so everyone can get in. Inside we have a chair there. Swing over here. We have the starting of a fireplace. Log, this is our central support system there. So that it won't collapse on you. It's big enough so that five people can fit in it comfortably. Um, after a couple more branches to be put on it, uh, it'll be weatherproof and rainproof. So, yep, that's just the starting of it. A couple more branches will be set. Say hi. Hi. Hello.